Just real quick, the math program we use, uh, we use Primer, uh, Introduction to Math from Matthew C. Um, I have the instruction manual and the DVD. Um, these are considered the 2009 edition. It's the same according to the company as the current one, so I just went ahead and bought it off of um, another site rather than from the company. Um, you can see here the different topics that they have. Um, they basically are teaching them the numbers 0 through 9 because that's how you should be counting when you're doing a base 10 system. Um, and then they go into introduction to other topics in future, in future books. Um, they do not have to master something in order to move on. Um, if they're having trouble, they just skip it. Um, we haven't skipped yet, but that's us. So first they start using blocks. They put the blocks on here. That's kind of what the blocks look like, if you can see those. Um, and there are 100 blocks too, but I don't have those up here. And then they circle it, so they start with just circling it. Later on they get into tracing it, um, and they use other objects, and they cross them out the wrong answer. Um, they get into shapes, uh, and they will be writing some numbers too on their own. Somewhere in here, they're writing numbers in there. There we go. There's one where they count them and they write it. And if the number's given, then they trace it and they color in the squares. And then in lesson nine, look, they have some enrichment pages. So they don't teach them patterns, but they look to see if they can try and figure out what would come next in the patterns and things like that. And then section nine, they start teaching place value. We're coming up to that soon, so I'm excited to see how our four year old does with that. So. Um, they do have some videos from uh, Mr. Demi on, on YouTube already um, to kind of introduce you to the program a little bit. But in case you want to know what the workbook looks like, this is what it looks like. And I use the page protectors. Um, if they're glossy, I recommend uh, dry erase markers on them. And then if they are matte finish, matte like rough finish, um, I recommend Crayola style markers. I don't know. I tried one from the Crayola factory that when my kids went and that marker seemed to work well because they wash off really easily. Um, so glossy, dry erase, and matte um, Crayola markers. And then I had printed out some charts for them to put stickers on. And these are dollar store stickers. They were like just the right size pretty much for what I needed them for. Um, they also, with this program, there is a decimal street chart. So the 100 blocks fit in here. So you can fit nine units and the unit's house, and then 10 units and the tens, tens house, I guess, or apartment building or whatever they want to call it. And then in this big mansion here, they have 900 units that can fit in there. And of course, once you add the 10th one, you move up to the next house um, because they don't fit anymore. Um, on the back of this, this is, I believe, used in the beta. They might use it a little bit to introduce it in primer, but in the beta, which is after Primer comes alpha, and then after alpha is beta. Um, they use this for telling time, teaching them how to count the time. I haven't gotten there yet, but that's my understanding. Yeah, we have the alpha. I have beta downstairs, but I don't have a workbook for that. So, so that's a quick under four minute introduction to the program. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, I'd be glad to show you whatever you need to see. Um, but you shouldn't photocopy this because that's not, that's illegal <laughs> to photocopy, but I do recommend putting it if you want to use them over and over, at least at this level, because they're not writing very much on it, and I just have my kids do other work where they're actually using pencil, real pencils and things and coloring other things in so that they get those skills down as well. So anyway, now it's over four minutes, sorry. So that's Primer. If you have any questions, let me know.